of light and supreme cosmic energy to all the queen goddesses, to all the beautiful, lovely star seeds, to all my fellow king gods who see the multiverse in the Fibonacci in me. I see the multiverse in the Fibonacci in you. I see you. I honor you. I appreciate you. And I fucking love you, my people. Now, real quick, my people, I want to speak about some of the messages that I have been receiving as of lately over the last 72 hours. Now, the reason why I want to speak about this, because I do understand a lot of people's concerns, but I want to speak to you from, from I want to give you my point of view and in regards to this this thing that we, we call being alone, especially right now. Now, I read a, one message and somebody was stating that, you know, you have you have ribs right there. You know what I mean? So y'all, 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 y'all tight. Y'all gonna make sure each other cool. I I understand that. Now let me just say this to you. I prepare for this time as if I'm by myself. I'm not saying that I'm not. Me and Riz and others are not setting up for this time. That's not what I'm saying. But each individual has to be taking care of their part. Now let me ask you a question, right? Let's say this shit shut down, right? And and me and Riz been talking about this. And this shit shut down, and then I go over, I go to Riz Crib, right? And they got, they got canned goods, they got water, they got food and everything. But I only got two gallons of water and some canned goods. Now, let me ask you a question. Now, that's my brother, and I know that he would take care of me. You understand? I know that. I know my brother would, would, would look out for me. But I'm going to just be real here. Now, what type of selfish act would I, what I would be doing? By doing some shit like that. Now, me and him discussing this shit, we know what's going on. I'm going to show up at his motherfucking crib when the lights go out. And all I got is a gallon of water. And I got to survive with him for the next six months. And he got enough supply for him and his woman. Now, just think about that shit right there. You see what I'm saying to you? So, I have to prepare. Everyone has to prepare as if you don't have no one. Prepare individually for yourself. And then, what will happen is, you will link up what motherfuckers that are prepared. That's it. Or you don't let no one inside of your castle. You don't let no one inside of your castle. Now, let me just say this to you. The first person that complain about how the fuck they're going to get some money to stock up for six months of food and water, you are, you, if you, I'm, I'm great, I will snap out. I'm dead serious. And I'm going to tell you why. Let me say this to you. Distilled water is 99 cents a gallon. At ShopRite. Now, if it's in your area, I don't give a fuck if distilled water was $2 a gallon, to be honest with you. As much weed, as much bullshit that we have bought, bought copper jewelry and all the other bullshit, and stones and all this crystal shit, you understand? As much sh shit as we spend money on, you mean to tell me you can't go spend $50 on water? On water? Gallons of water to stock up inside your house? Yesterday, I went to the market, bought 33 gallons of water. Today, I bought 33 gallons of water. Thursday and Friday... At the end of this week, I'm buying 33 and another 33. And I'm going to do that every Thursday and Friday. 33 gallons of water, gallons of water from the market. And then I'm going to buy, I'm going to BJ's and I'm going to buy the big cases of bottles of water. Because I'm still going to need that. But now, how much money do you think that shit costs? $33? $33? I spent more than that smoking weed. I spend that on my, I spend $70 a week in my gas tank. So you mean to tell me right there, I ain't got enough... Common sense and logic was looking at what's taking place on the planet that I can't say, let me go get me some water. The markets are not crowded right now. You know why? Because everybody is asleep. Everybody think much shit going to continue to be there. So you have an opportunity. You seen this video for a reason. Right now, you should take 10, 15, even if it's 20, 30 dollars a week. If you if you don't have it, that's one thing you understand. But if you like, all right, how you not have it? I'm going to just be real. When this motherfucker just gave you a stimulus check. $1,200 a stimulus check. Let's just be real. Twelve. If you had, first of all, if you had, if you had $600 of that stimulus check right now, you can, you can, you can survive more than six months. You can survive by yourself more than six months. Let's just be real. And you don't even need to sell $600. If you was buying waters right now, 30, 30, 30 gallons of water once a week. All the way up until the first week of October when shit really going to shut down and the market's going to get all fucking crazy. Like, if you was buying that right now, if you was buying uh, uh, beans, that like, even though it's in sodium, fuck it. You understand? You got to get through this six to, You got to get through this six months or longer of darkness and no food. So, if you buying beans that's in a fucking can that got sodium in and a can opener and you eating on that with raw oatmeal sometimes. Like, and then you fasting. Like, this is the shit that you should be doing. Off of that $600, you could have over six months of, of of fucking supplies of what you need. 
if you if you sharing the same if you sharing my same genetic makeup, you need water, you need some canned goods, some oatmeal, some motherfucking uh lighter, flashlight, um uh, uh multivitamins, chlorophyll. You understand? You sh what else is you buying? You shouldn't be saying I'm a stock up on fruits and vegetables. Why? Because the the fruits and vegetables they don't even stay long good long. They don't even last in your fucking refrigerator. The power is going to go out, so you don't need none of that shit. You only going to need the stuff that's going to sustain you. And one of the things that's going to sustain you is the sun, water, chlorophyll. That's plant blood. That's plant love. That's plant love right there. What's up with you? So 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 for the people that are in 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 in, in turmoil or feel in fear because they don't have no one that's close to them right now you have an opportunity you do have someone you have you that's the most important thing you have you prepare as if it's you by yourself you stimulus check you should have been able to stock up some money you should have been able to stock up on something when you when, when it's going on go down you got to go damn there all day maybe almost all day sometimes and go one or two days and don't eat one, no matter how much you already have stocked up, you got to be like, I'm going one or two days and don't eat. That's what you got to do. I'm going to go sit out in the sun and meditate. I'm going to go absorb that radiation. When this, when this happened, when, this, when, 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 when the stimulus checks came out, listen to it. Stimulus. The, we went inside. We was inside of our house. That was a chance for you to stimulate your motherfucking pineal gland. Stimulate that. See the future. Look at the 90-day window that has been given to the organic people of this planet. Look at the 90-day window. Think about that real quick. Look at the 90-day window that has been given to the organic people of this planet. Go around to your supermarkets right now. Look how empty they really are. They're not really packed jam. You got look at food, look at food and shit in there. Cans, cans of foods on the shelves. Huh? Maybe not as much on the West Coast, but it ain't all crazy like it was. When it when 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 all the riot and all that stuff was going on, huh? You got an opportunity to get ahead of the game. Think about you before you start thinking about pairing up and 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 and, and needing someone with you. When all you you have all the information, you got you already. You don't need nobody else. Now I'm not saying just but believe me one thing: strength is in numbers. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you and tell you that strength is not in numbers. Strength is in numbers. But if it just so happened that that fate has 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 decided for you to be alone during this time, then that's what it is. That's just what it is. We have to accept whatever fate, whatever comes our way, we have to accept that. Obviously, there was there this was this was ordained. You needed to experience this time or during that time alone. Maybe you was a hard-headed motherfucker at one point in time. And, and when people was trying to tell you shit was going on, or not even people, when when it was when messages was coming from the universe to show you to change or turn around, and you never turned the motherfucker around. Maybe that was the case. You understand? And then you turned around now, but yet that energy is still coming back to you. That energy got to come back. So the same thing could happen to me. But I got to be a force here. I got six... I got nine months to fuck in me. Definitely. I got nine months in me. And I hope that you do too. Believe me you. I mean you I I mean I, I don't I don't know what to tell I don't know what to tell people. I'm giving you the best advice that I can possibly get give you. And also have yourself a grab and go back. That's all grab and go back. I, I got a feeling that we're gonna have to start migrating south. We got to migrate south. The north is going back on the ice. I mean I may not. We. Not, I'm stocking up my crib for six months of darkness. Who, 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 who knows if it's an earthquake and the shit shake and I gotta move. You understand? I, so I gotta grab whatever I can with me, and then I got to keep it moving. So let's say that happens one or two months in, and I'm only able to move with only three months of uh, or two months of food supply. You think I'm gonna have somebody with me? That ain't that that wasn't even thinking on that level. That wasn't even, and they only with me because they want to survive. They want to experience the new world. You understand? And they know with me, they got a better chance to survive or experience the new world. Fuck no, no. That is that's not how it's going. I don't care who you are. I really, yo, I really mean this, and I want y'all to understand this. And this is what you have to come to this 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 understanding as well. You have to turn around and look at those that are around you. 
and ask yourself, did they take this time to stimulate their motherfucking brain? Or was they still stimulating their phallus or their or, or 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 twerking that ass? Ask yourself this question. And then you ask yourself, is you is it worth you experiencing what they experienced? Huh? Huh? They had a choice. They had a choice with that stimulus money. Motherfucker was standing outside in the weave lines. Huh? Niggas was buying cars. Looking to go fucking buy motorcycles and shit. Ride around it. Stocking up on gear. Ordering shit all online. Huh? Niggas ordering online. I'm going up and down face. All up and down um, 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 Instagram. Motherfuckers all up and down there. Posting food. Having birthday parties. And every motherfucking thing. And I'm not telling you not to have fun. Party on. But don't look at me. And you be like. Damn. This nigga just bought 80 gallons of water. This motherfucker got stocks of motherfucking food right there. He got shit. T- <laughs> he got shit tucked in. Shit tucked in. He got boards up ready so he can put his shit up against his motherfucking wall, up against the windows. Yeah, because see, here's the thing. I gotta give, I gotta give, I gotta give him respect for saying this. Richie from Boston. He said something. Because they're gonna come with options. You understand? You have to ask yourself, they're gonna come with options. Are you gonna take the shot? Or are you gonna take a shot? Ask yourself, <laughs> ask yourself that motherfucking question. Huh? Because all this shit going to come at one time. You understand? The collapsing of the market. The First of all, the virus locked back down. Collapsing of the market. First of all, let me start it over. Collapse virus back in the house. Then they're going to try to vaccinate you. When that shit don't pop off, they see a lot of people ain't saying, fuck you, this, that, and the third. Collapse the market. Then they're going to fucking shut the fucking lights out. You understand? And it might be an earthquake and some other bullshit that happens. You understand? Because of the energy that we are putting out on this planet. And then it's going to be total fucking chaos. Total chaos. Now, is that to put fear? No, that's not to put fear. That's to tell you to prepare individually as if you are by yourself. And then you will connect with someone that is prepared. If not, then it's meant for you to be where you at. Accept who you are and accept the position that you you are in. You chose these positions for a reason. You chose this position where you're at for a reason. If you in fucking Texas, be happy you in Texas. If you in Cali, be happy you in motherfucking Cali. If you in Canada, be happy you to fucking Canada. You chose that for a reason. Whether you chose it before you came down here and, and, and you were born in those regions or when you got down here, something influenced you to move to those fucking regions. That's all. Something influenced you. Now, is it just so happy that those regions are fucking look, look like they're going to be destroyed and you're there? Yes. I mean, it just so happened to look like that, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are going to be destroyed. You understand? Again, the physical vessel don't die. I mean, the physical vessel moves on. The soul doesn't die. The physical vessel feeds the earth. The soul moves on. But again, you still may, it, that shit may not happen either. See, I got to give you all kinds of scenarios because people are looking at this shit from fear when you share my same genetic makeup. Don't share my gen- same genetic makeup. The only ones that are looking at fear, looking in fear, did not understand that the shutdown and the stimulus check was to, for the organic people of this fucking planet. When they shut you down, was the internet shut down? Was, why, was, was YouTube shut down? Fuck no. You could have learned a whole lot of shit on YouTube. You could have seen all this shit that's... Ca- you could you could sit down and binge watch Mr. MB33 videos and you'll be like, yo, and be caught the fuck up. I mean, I mean, somewhat have a great idea that shit is great to change big time on this motherfucking planet. Big time. So you gotta ask yourself. You understand? The people that are around you, are they stimulating their brain? Huh? Are they stimulating their third eye? Did they just say, oh, this was a virus, they locked us? This was a this was a pre, this was a setup for you. The honeybees of this planet. Those that have been prepping for quite some time. It, even the artificial race. This was a this was a this was a window for you to, to, to validate everything that you have been speaking about. All the conspiracy theories and everything that you have been speaking about. This was a window for you to get the fuck prepared. So again, you understand? Are you going to give your vessel up for motherfuckers that didn't stimulate their brain and only stimulated a check? Huh? 
You have to ask yourself that question. And if you got that stimulus check, you didn't you 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 don't have nothing left over where though that you can start right now, even if it's $20 to go buy water. Water and fucking canned goods and raw oatmeal. You mean to tell me you can't do that? You have up at least a 90-day window to get this shit right. 90 days. Now, in that 90 days, in that 90 days, as you getting this shit right, you should be keeping your eye to the sky, keeping your keeping yourself grounded, turning to your brother and sister. You understand? Trying to shed light to them. But don't have no fear, my people. Don't have no fear. You understand? I mean, I really mean that. Sisters should be bonded with sisters. I'm being real. Sisters shouldn't look for brothers to, to be their protectors. I'm just being real. This is some real shit. Because I'm going to tell you, man. I'm going to be honest with you. The shit that I'm seeing, foreseeing, that some of our own motherfucking brothers is going to do some vile shit. I'm, and I'm just being real. And some sisters are going to set up some brothers in this dark time. Because they dark. I, listen, man. Uh, listen, when, listen, the first, th the first 60 days of darkness is going to be okay. After that first 60 days of darkness, no electricity, it's going to kick the fuck in. Kick in. I love you, my people. Stay strong. This video was not for me to put fear inside of you. This is to tell you how Kalab was preparing. I'm preparing as if I'm by myself. You understand? Although I know that strengthers are in numbers. But I'm not going to come to the table empty motherfucking handed. Just because you my genetic, you share my genetic makeup, you supposed to just look out for me. You supposed to just make sure I'm okay. But meanwhile, meanwhile, I didn't take the time during this COVID, so-called COVID-19 shit to stimulate my brain. I just stimulated a fucking check. So I'm supposed to now experience the same shit that you you ignorantly turned your back to and willingly now want to experience. Huh? I don't fucking think so. I don't think so. If nobody's bringing nothing to the table and they just bringing their genetic makeup, leave the door to fuck shut and twist the lock. <laughs> I love y'all. <laughs>